First, check the connections. The electro lead should be plugged into channel 1 as shown. Notice that the red lead is plugged in next to the gray dot. Make sure that the pulse transducer and the bioamp cable are plugged in as shown. Also, make sure the USB cable is plugged into the computer. Have the subject remove any jewelry, watches, or battery operated devices. Then, have them take a seat. Connect the pulse transducer to the tip of the middle finger on either the right or left hand. Wrap the Velcro tight enough so the subject feels a pulse, but not tight enough to compromise circulation. Clean the skin where the electrodes will be placed with an alcohol prep pad. You should clean the subject's right wrist, left wrist, and right ankle. Spread a thin film of electrode gel over the surface of the electrodes. Here, the black electrode is placed on the left wrist, while the red electrode is placed on the right wrist. The green electrode is placed on the right ankle. Before you begin recording the ECG, remind the subject that they must remain still throughout the recording. Have a lab partner click the start button in the bottom right hand corner of the power lab window. Choose the input amplifier option from the channel 2 blood flow channel function pop-up menu. Adjust the range so that the signal occupies about half to two-thirds of the scale when the subject has both hands resting in their lap. Click OK to return to the chart window. The graphs that you see from top to bottom are the following. Channel 1 shows blood volume in the finger over time. Channel 2 shows the net rate of blood flow in the finger over time. And channel 3 is the ECG. When finished recording data, click the stop button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You only need about 20 seconds of a good recording. Next, highlight about 3 seconds of your ECG recording by clicking and dragging the mouse. On the toolbar at the top of the screen, click on Window and then select Zoom View. To improve the scale of your graph, click on the Auto Scale button. Make sure the data is stacked by clicking the Stacked Mode button. You are now ready to print your data. When finished with the experiment, clean the gel off the clamps with an alcohol prep pad.